Okay, today I'm going to show you a very, very simple recipe on how to cook with Jerusalem artichoke. Uh, also known as tupin or tupinabur, some uh, natives call it sunchoke. The ingredients for today's dish, which is going to be scalloped uh, uh, sunchoke, um, First, you're going to need some sunchoke or Jerusalem artichoke, uh, fresh herbs, fresh potatoes. We're going to use grated Parmes uh, Parmesan cheese product, cream cheese product, and olive oil. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. In an oven-proof casserole, Put a little bit of olive oil. This will ensure nothing sticks. You can either cook the sancho peeled or unpeeled very easily with a paring knife to peel the sancho. Jerusalem artichoke is a wonderful food. It's taken for granted. Not many people eat it. But today's recipe is going to show you how to make something absolutely delicious with that. It has a tendency to oxidize very quickly, so you will want to work fast. The same thing with the potatoes. We will lightly peel the potatoes just to take that young skin off. Now that the Jerusalem artichoke is peeled, you're going to split them lengthwise. As thinly as you can. Thin strips of Jerusalem artichoke. The baby potatoes, you can use larger potatoes, that's fine. I'm just going to cut into medallions. Remember, what we're trying to do is something in the line of a scalloped potatoes. But we're going to incorporate that wonderful Jerusalem artichoke. So I'm using Yukon Gold baby potatoes, fresh out of the garden. Okay, now all my potatoes are chopped. Last but not least, I'm going to quickly chop some fresh herbs. This is fresh parsley out of the garden and some fresh sage. And so now we are going to put the potato medallions as the first layer. So just carefully layer your Yukon Gold, or you can use any potato medallions along the bottom of your Casserole dish. Start with some fresh herbs on top of those potatoes. Now you can make traditional scallop potatoes, but cream cheese scallop potatoes are delicious and it is a quick and easy recipe, a quick and easy way to cook with your Jerusalem artichoke. Now all you're going to do is put a few dollops of cream cheese I'm using an herbed cream cheese. Don't worry about spreading it. This is going to melt with the heat. The heat will spread and it. And now you are ready to start putting the Jerusalem artichoke. So just put those slices of Jerusalem artichoke right on top of that layer of potato and a little bit of that herbed cream cheese. Quick, easy, delicious recipe, delicious way to use that sunchoke that's growing in your yard. Layer these on, these thinly sliced pieces of sunchoke. Again, this is the tuber of the Jerusalem artichoke or the topinabur. 
um, grows wild almost everywhere on the surface it looks pretty much like a sunflower and this is the edible tuber of the plant Jerusalem artichoke au gratin with Yukon gold potatoes very quick very easy recipe to make very easy for the homesteader all you need is a processed cream cheese in my case I've used the flavored one herbs and chives now we're going to put a little bit more cream cheese a little bit more cream cheese now goes on the top we're not going to worry about spreading it evenly the heat will do that for us a little bit of cream cheese urban chives on top of that Jerusalem artichoke you can use light cream cheese if you want or you can do this in the style of a traditional um, scalloped potato that's perfectly fine put the rest of those fresh garden herbs now because of the cream cheese product you do not need to put any heavy cream in there this will all melt and it will make that dairy and now we're going to do the gratin or the cheese uh, the broiled cheese and it's just any uh, parmesan product so I'm using 100% grated parmesan and I'm going to put a whole lot of it over it and that's it the dish is now ready to go in a 375 degree preheated oven and all you have to do now is bake it at 375 degrees for 45 minutes 45 minutes have passed and you can see now in the oven a beautiful gratin or scalloped Jerusalem artichoke and Yukon gold potatoes.